Nikki here with you and I'm here for day number 23 and it's a beautiful brown ink this time and it's one that I've heard so much about and I'm so happy that Amanda sent me uh, um, a sample of it can't speak what's new um, and so I'm gonna be playing with it and she sent a very generous sample so I'll be able to refill at a later date which I really appreciate because of the fact that I'm trying not to put too much ink right now with the fact that they're brown um, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to play with brown inks it just means that for this this month it's we're late in the month and I want red and green and stuff like that for Christmas so it's gonna be probably green and the red because of the fact that I've got so many pins inked up that I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to put green but anyway so this is the pen that I pairing it I'm pairing it with it's a sailor uh, 1911 uh, in the brown and I got this pen on eBay what's new um, I love getting my pens on eBay because I'm getting really good deals for them compared to uh, purchasing them otherwise but you really have to know your prices so go and check it out prior to making a purchase if you're going to do that uh, the other thing too that I would highly suggest is when you're making um, a purchase before making it go and check the um, the rating of the person that you're purchasing from um, just because sometimes they're not they're they're um that's strange that turns itself but anyway there's enough ink in there to to do my my sample um so yeah sometimes the the um they don't have good ratings and you don't want that you want somebody that has good ratings and so that you don't get uh, gypped and uh, have bad experience I also always use PayPal to make my purchase but I do know that now eBay um, you can also open up a dispute and get a refund should should the need come um, but I've always had really good experience with um, PayPal whenever I've had any issues they've always taken care of it and uh, so I'm very pleased with going through them um, so no issues on that end and of course check out the pictures because carefully because sometimes and read the description because <laughs> that happens too that I don't I don't read the proper description and then I purchase the item but then I get it and I'm like well is that's not what I was expecting but it's not the fault of the seller it's the fault of the person that read the listing that didn't read properly because that happens so I'm gonna put it here it's a beautiful beautiful color whoops what happened to my messy paper what happened to it what did I do with it hmm I must have moved it because I was doing some other video and it was not pleasing to look at but I do want to have some place to put my my ink and not waste so there's that okay so let's check out the chroma oh no We'll let the chromatography finish this thing. I'm getting confused. Okay, so today we're playing with Sailor. 50 states. And this pen is very lightweight. And I'm not liking it with, uh, without the cap. And I'm using my Sailor. 1911 brown and if I'm not mistaken this this is a medium nib but it feels more fine than medium 
but then again Japanese uh, pens are a lot finer than um, what we in North America or in Europe have so okay so there and uh, then I'm gonna write my little text so. Can't write either. And uh, this was Walter in a nutshell. So I think the next time. I put this ink into something, I'm going to take a broader uh, nib because it feels like this nib doesn't show the uh, ink as it should. feels really a lot more like a fine than a medium, but I did write that it was a medium. So, so here is the writing. And uh, let's check out the chromatography, which, oh, that's a beautiful, gorgeous one right now. Check this out, guys. Isn't that pretty? So you've got all that red and then the, ye the green and the yellow, and it's just stunning, stunning, stunning. So this is really a pretty, pretty one. And uh, this is my splotches still drying. And then we will look at the, the 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 ink. So I really don't have that ink in in something else, which is another reason why I think I need it. But but I don't use a lot of brown. So I just got this beautiful one from Ferris Wheel Press, and I think I'm gonna have to be happy with it. I do have also uh, toffee um, brown from. Um, from uh, Mont Blanc, so yeah. And then I have this here, which was the Café des Îles from uh, Jacques Herbin, which was also a sample. So you can see they're not at all the same. This one is a lot brighter. Um, it's really, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ink. So it's gonna be fun to play with it. It's gonna be fun to use the rest of the sample. So thank you, Menda. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day number 24. Bye!